this video blog from Jerusalem on the eve of Tisha B'Av, the ninth of Av, the day commemorating the destruction of the temples, uh, a day that is associated in Jewish history and the Jewish tradition with mourning and soul searching. Now, one of the less known interpretations of the reason that the sages, the Talmudic sages gave for the destruction is found in the following. Lo charva Yerushalayim ela al shum she'emidu dinahem al din Torah. Jerusalem was not destroyed for any other reason than the fact that they based and implemented their rulings on the basis of the law of the Torah. Now this is remarkable. What does that mean, the rabbis ask? What kind of law should they have applied? Laws of robbers? And the answer they give is no, it should not have been the strict rule of the Torah, but rather equity. Equity is what a Jewish healthy society needs. And those who attempt to implement in the severest and strictest way the law of the Torah are, according to the Talmud, the cause for the destruction of Jerusalem and the Temple. It should give us a lot of room for thought. There are many other reasons that the Talmud enumerates, but this reason in particular should give us a sense that those who are pushing Israel today in the direction of greater theocratic rule, those high up, Chief Rabbi Amar, who says if Israel is not run by the law of the Torah, if Israel is not, as we commonly refer to it, a theocracy, then Israel is not a Jewish state. It doesn't deserve to be called Kiryane Mana, a loyal town. It is as if, he says, Israel is embraced and controlled by the Sitra Acha, Satan. You can imagine why this kind of outlook, coming from high up, embraced and endorsed by Israel's political forces, is giving Judaism a bad name. This is why just a few days ago, there was a poll published showing that the majority of Israelis find the chief rabbinate and other religious establishment institutions to be alienating Israeli Jews from Judaism. So on the eve of Tisha B'Av, the 9th of Av, let us take to heart the need in forging a Jewish and democratic state to think of a state that's thoroughly Jewish but is governed by a sense of justice and equity and equality and tolerance. Din Torah, theocracy, has brought about a destruction once. It may bring destruction again.